The next approximation technique we want to learn about is called the trapezoidal rule. So the trapezoidal rule works a little bit differently than the left, the right, and the midpoint rules in that we use the area of a trapezoid to approximate instead of a rectangle. So let's review the formula for the area of a trapezoid. So let's say I have a trapezoid that looks like this. Okay, I can call one side over here B1. I can call the other side over here B2. And then I can call this third side over here H. And the formula for a trapezoid is A, the area is equal to one half B1 plus B2 times H. In other words, you basic this front part here finds the average of the two bases over here, and then you multiply by the height. Okay. So uh, we're gonna instead of using rectangles, be using trapezoids for our next approximation technique. So let's see how this works. If you look at this picture we have here, you can see that we're going to have four objects. We have one trapezoid right here. We have a second trapezoid right here. We have a third trapezoid right here. And then we have a fourth trapezoid there. So this picture kind of describes what our trapezoidal approximation is going to look like. Okay. Let's take a look at the formula. So, as we mentioned on a previous video, our um, trapezoidal approximation is abbreviated T sub n. And n in this case is going to be the, uh, the number of rectangles. And it's going to be given by a formula. We're going to take the width of each trapezoid, which will be delta x. We're going to divide that by 2. And then we multiply by uh, f of x0 plus 2 times f of x1 plus 2 times f of x2. And in fact, we keep going. The second to last one is still multiplied by 2, so it'll be 2 times f of xn minus 1. And then the very last guy is f of xn. That's only added once. Okay. So there's definitely a pattern here. Uh, the first thing I want you to notice is we're not just multiplying by de delta x. We're multiplying by, multiplying by delta x divided by 2. Um, what we have is the very first endpoint and the very last endpoint are only evaluated at f once, and all the ones in the middle are being multiplied by 2. So why is that? Well, if you look at our picture over here, um, when we calculate this first trapezoid, that just involves the left endpoint over here. But when we look at the second trapezoid, the second trapezoid uses x1 as well. So x1 is used both as the, the right edge of the first trapezoid and as the left edge of the second trapezoid. Okay. In fact, the only edges that are not used twice are the two edges at each end. So that's why those don't have twos in front. They just have a one. What is our sample point going to be? Our sample point xi star is just going to be uh, a plus i times delta x. And our i's are going to start at 0, and it's going to go all the way to n. Okay. Finally, our delta x, which is the width of our trapezoid, that's kind of playing the role of h up above. That's going to be uh, b minus a divided by n, just as always. Now, earlier we had said that uh, an approximation is no good unless you know how uh, accurate it is. In other words, if you can bound the error. 
So just as before, we have um, we have to bound the second derivative on the closed interval, and we're going to call that bound k. Okay. Now our error for the trapezoidal rule is going to be called b sub t. We're going to bound the error, so he's going to put that in absolute value. So we don't know if it's an overestimate or an underestimate. And we're going to bound it from above by k times b minus a cubed this time. And our denominator is going to be uh, 12n squared instead of 24n squared. So before, this 12 was a 24, and this 3 was a, a 2. So um, if we were to describe accuracy of our um, approximation rules, ranking from most error to least error, the most error occurs with a left endpoint or right endpoint approximation. Then the next most is the trapezoidal rule. And really, the least amount of error is the midpoint rule. So this is the most, and this is the least so far. All right. All right, everyone. This concludes the bid. I'm sorry, the trapezoidal rule video. Uh, next time we'll look at Simpson's rule. Take care, everyone.